let's look at the derivative of sec x. Now if we let f of x equal to sec x, then we can rewrite this as f of x, which equals to 1 over cos x, because the definition of sec x is that it's equal to 1 over cos x. And now we can rewrite this in index form as cos x all to the power of minus 1. Now to work out the derivative of this, we have f dash of x as the notation, and we're now going to use the chain rule on this function to differentiate it and work out the derivative. So the chain rule tells us that when we have a function within another function, then we can use this rule to differentiate this. So in this case, we have cos x within the function x to the power of minus one. And so differentiating this gives us the following. So we multiply by the power, so that becomes minus one times this whole function now, so cos x. And now we take away one from the power. So minus one minus one becomes minus two. And then we differentiate the inner function, which in this case is cos x, and cos x differentiates to minus sine x. And then we times this with everything we have here. Now if we simplify this, we get f dash of x, which equals to, now minus one times minus sine x is just sine x, and then we're multiplying this all by cos x to the power of minus two, which is the same as one over cos x all squared. If we now simplify this, we get f dash of x, which equals to, so sine x times one over cos x all squared is just sine x all over cos squared x. And now if we split this up, we have f dash of x, which equals to one over cos x multiplied by sine x over cos x. And now if we rewrite this, we have f dash of x, which equals to, so one over cos x is equal to sec x. And then we're multiplying all of this by sine x over cos x, which is the same as tan x. And so the derivative of sec x is equal to sec x times tan x.